Hey Maker, if you're not sure which type of smartphone mount you should buy for your smartphone camera when using a tripod, this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product-based business. The smartphone camera you already have is an excellent choice for taking product photos for your online shop. However, they do have some limitations. So in this video, we're going to talk about a specific limitation and that is image stabilization. What that means is you can get a little bit of a camera shake, causing your photos to be a little blurry and not as sharp as they can be. Camera shake happens just by holding your phone and tapping the screen to capture the photo. You may not notice it with your eye, but again, your images won't be as sharp. So I highly recommend using a tripod and a smartphone mount to capture your product photos. In this video, I'm gonna show you four different smartphone mounts that I have, what I like and don't like about each, and I'm gonna show you how to use them. This smartphone mount here is my least favorite, and it's my least favorite for two reasons. First is it only has one option for actually attaching it to a tripod. So you'll notice here that light stands and tripods, they have a thread in here. Standard is typically one four threading, but sometimes they can be three eighths. You'll notice that this smartphone mount only has a one fourth threading option on it. The other downside to this smartphone mount is it doesn't move. It doesn't have any angles. It does allow you to turn and do vertical type images or turn it this way to do landscape type images. But if you're using a light stand that doesn't have a ball head, the only thing you can do with this smartphone mount is shoot directly straight on. Next, we're gonna move to this mount. Again, this mount only has the one fourth threading option, but it does have a ball head. So it allows you to do camera angles, different camera angles. You can also shoot vertically or you can turn it this way to shoot horizontally. So this is a nice option. It allows you to do different camera angles, but it's still not my favorite. Our third option here is going to allow us to get a little more versatile. So this is one of my favorite smartphone mounts for two very good reasons. First is gonna be that it has the one fourth threading, it has the three eighth threading and it has another one fourth. So this specific boom, which a boom is an arm that extends, allowing you to do flat lays. This specific boom actually has a three eighths threading on it. So the other two smartphone mounts I showed you would not work with this specific boom. Okay, this boom, you can easily add to any light stand, any tripod, existing tripod that you already have. So if you're looking to shoot flat lays, definitely click the link in the description below to check out this inexpensive option to allow you to shoot overhead. The second thing I love about this mount is that it has a ball head. So we can move it around and shoot all different angles. It allows you to shoot horizontally and it also allows you to turn and shoot, gotta tighten it, turn and shoot vertically. Okay, so this is a great option, but I have one more I want to show you that pretty much does it all. Here is option number four, and this one is my favorite option and also my recommendation to you. So again, it's going to have your one-fourth, your three-eighth, and your one-fourth threading options there. It's going to have the option to do all different kinds of camera angles because it has a ball head on it. And then it has one more thing. So it allows you to shoot horizontal, also to shoot vertical. And then you'll notice here, look at this little guy. This is called a cold shoe. And a cold shoe allows you to add additional accessories to your smartphone mount. 
And one of those accessories that I use all the time is my Rode Wireless Go To microphone. So this is the portion of the microphone that's going to fit into the cold shoe. And it's gonna have a cord that attaches to my actual smartphone. Now, if I didn't have this cold shoe, this little, little piece of accessory would just kind of be like dangling off of my smartphone and it wouldn't be great. Okay, so this allows me to hook that on there. I can use my wireless mic and get amazing results. So this is 100% my recommendation when it comes to picking a smartphone mount that'll work for you. And you can grab the link up here or you can grab it in the description below. So I have a question for you. Have you ever gone to use a smartphone mount and got super frustrated because when you put your smartphone camera on the mount, you can't see your screen anymore. This happens to a lot of my students. So what they do is they take their smartphone and they go and they attach it to the smartphone mount. And then when they're going to use the camera, if I turn this around, they, they can't see the screen. They can't see their product. They can't tap focus. The smartphone mount is blocking their camera. I have the perfect solution for you. All you do is take your camera off and you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna mount it the opposite way. Get my camera back. Okay, see? Now you can see everything that you're shooting and you can tap focus. You have the whole screen in front of you. This is the way that you put your smartphone camera on a smartphone mount. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.